Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about what programming paradigms are, a few of the most pr popular programming paradigms, and languages which use these paradigms. Then, I will go into depth on what these paradigms actually are. Let's get into it. To start off, what is a programming paradigm? Well, a paradigm is the methodology or approach to a coding language. So that's great and all, but what are some examples of programming paradigms? Well, the most popular programming paradigms are object-oriented programming, functional programming, procedural programming, and declarative programming. So let's get in and discuss object-oriented programming. As it sounds, uh, a pro object-oriented programming is a paradigm where programmers write code as objects. This has its advantages and its disadvantages. So first, let's talk about the pros. For one, you are able to reuse code much more efficiently, and because of this, you have better productivity. Now the cons. It's difficult for many to learn object-oriented programming. This is due to the concepts that you would have to learn, such as polymorphism, encapsulation, and many others. Despite this, object-oriented programming is loved by many. Some of the well-known languages to use object-oriented programming are Python, Java, Ruby, C++, and many others. Now on to functional programming. Functional programming is not as well-known as many of the others on this list. However, it is one that you should know of. Functional programming uses recursion to solve problems. If you don't know what recursion is, recursion is when a function calls itself. Some pros to functional programming or that it is logical. You can look at code and understand what it is doing because it's so intuitive. However, recursion is something that many people are not able to grasp, and because of that, they're not, they do not enjoy functional programming. Some of the languages that functional programming is involved with are Python, Clean, and Haskell, which are relatively old programming languages. Next up, we have procedural programming. Procedural programming is loved by many due to its simple nature. It's all based around a series of steps that are carried out one after another. Some pros to procedural programming are that the code is compact and reusable. There are some cons, however. One is that it's not very fast to run. There are a few languages that use procedural programming, however. Some of these include Fortran, Java, C, and many others. Finally, we have declarative programming. Declarative programming is defined by any style that is not imperative. This may be confusing, so allow me to clear it up. For that, however, you should know what imperative programming is. Imperative programming is the oldest paradigm and is a very clear set of instructions for the computer. Declarative, however, as I mentioned before, is the opposite of this. Declarative programming is an abstract way of programming. Some pros to declarative programming are that it has great readability and reusability ever. Some cons, however, are that you must be familiar with abstract comments to get declarative programming down. Some languages that use declarative programming are Fortran C, Java Basic, and many others. I hope you've learned a thing or two from today's video, and let me know what you would like to see in the next one. Later.